Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the binary adder and subtractor. Binary adder and subtractor. So here we are having a ripple carry adder which can perform both addition and as well as subtraction. Which can perform both addition and subtraction. So how a single circuit can be acting as a, a subtractor and as well as adder we are going to see. So the addition the addition and subtraction are combined are combined into a single circuit into a single circuit using one common using one common binary adder binary adder this is done this is done this particular task is going to be accomplished this is done by including an xor gate by including an XOR gate to each full adder to each full adder in the previous two videos I have explained how to create a ripple carry adder and later I have shown you how to write a VHDL code okay once if you see those two then you will come to know what do you mean by a binary adder and how to design that Okay, using the same module, you know, we are just adding an XR gate. We are just adding an XR gate. Then it will become a subtractor also. Okay, how the XR gate will change this operation? Suppose take an XR gate. Okay, let us first study about XR gate and then we go for the design. So, let us consider two inputs. A, B and this is output Y, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, can you tell me what is the output of this XR gate? Yes, 0, 0, 0, again 1, 1, 0. When there are odd number of 1s, output is 1. When there are odd number of 1s, output is 1. If you see particularly, when 1 input is equal to 0, see clearly. When one input is equal to zero for the XR gate, output follows the same input of second input of the XR gate. When one of the inputs of XR gate is equal to zero, output is same as the second input. When one of the inputs is fixed to one, output is just a not operation of the second input okay that means we can use the xr gate as buffer we can use xr gate as buffer that means uh, one input is equal to zero output is equal to same other input we can use xr gate as buffer or we can use XR gate as inverter just by taking one of the inputs as either 0 or 1 respectively. Then what is the output here if you take one fixed A bar. This is the meaning of the inhibited meaning of the XR gate. XR gate can be acting as either buffer or it may be acting as a not gate just by taking one of the inputs as a fixed one this is the here is the proof okay now using this concept of the xr gate now we are going to design a binary adder which can also act as a subtractor okay see block diagram block diagram
So already we know these are full adders for 4 bit. See, always we use it to consider 4 bit only. So for better understanding, not more, not less. So full adders, all these are full adders. So the input, one of the inputs should be connected to XR gate, to XR gate. So A plus B or A minus B. So first apply all A inputs to full adders A naught. Sorry, A naught, A one, A two, K three. Now the other input you have to connect through XR gate. I will tell you what is the meaning of this one. What it actually does. See, one input of the XR gate should be common for all the XR gates which is nothing but a mode which is nothing but mode that makes the output of xr gate equal to the same as other input or it may be a complement of that one okay now the other input is b3 B2, B1 and now it is B0. So, we are taking a mode. We are taking a mode M, signal M. The same signal we are giving as carry input C. Now, the output of this one C1, sorry, C1 and here it is C2 and now here it is C3, if any carry is generated that is coming out, C4 and all these are S3, S2, S1, S0, okay. Now, when, see this is the just construction, what we have done, we have taken the same, see full headers and carry, some outputs, all these are common, but the change is, instead of giving B signal B, directly to full adder we have just taken an xr gate that xr gate one of the inputs of xr gates is b and the other input is a mode signal the same mode signal we have given commonly to the scene also i will tell you what is the purpose see when m is equal to 0 tell me what happens when m is equal to 0 when m is equal to 0 signal passes 0 on this one okay i will take a different color for understanding see when m is equal to 0 here it is 0, here it is 0, here it is 0 and here also it is 0. So, here also it is 0. So, when m equal to 0, all the XR gates are zeros. What happens when one of the inputs of XR gate is equal to 0, output is equal to same as the other input. So, here we have B0, here also we have B1, here also we have B2, here also we have B3 and the carry input is equal to 0. So, simply what happens? Simply what happens, addition operation, basic standard binary adder operation is performed. Binary 4 bit addition, binary 4 bit addition, very simple. And now, let us consider uh, other color, mm. see here, when mode is equal to 1, when mode is equal to 1, what happens, here it is 1, here it is 1. 1, 1, 1. What happens when one of the, see carry is also 1. What happens when one of the inputs of XR gate is 1? It simply acts like a inverter. It simply acts like an inverter. So, here it is B1 bar, here it is B0 bar, B1 bar, B2 bar, B3 bar. All these are complements. At the same time, carry input is 1. So, what happens? Simply there it performs binary 4 bit subtraction. Here you have a doubt how the subtraction is being performed. Binary addition is okay, I can understand, but what about the binary subtraction? Coming to here, 
see we know very well subtraction in binary adder and subtractor in binary adder and subtractor the subtraction is performed using two's complement method okay one should know what is a two's complement method a minus b in two's complement a minus b is written as a is equal to a plus two's complement of b a plus two's complement of b so a plus two's complement of b two's complement of b how to find a two's complement two's complement of b can be found one's complement of b plus one two's complement of b is equal to one's complement of b plus one so one's complement of b is nothing but complement of b one's complement is nothing but changing ones to zeros and zeros to ones so b bar plus one if you substitute here in this then a minus b is equal to therefore where therefore a minus b is equal to we can write it as a plus b bar plus one a plus b bar plus one once go back and check a plus b bar see a plus <coughs> b bar so everywhere you will be having the same a plus b bar plus one where it where the one is coming through carry c that's why carry c is connected as mode whenever this mode is equal to one automatically the one is added to this fully added circuit okay so a plus b bar plus one one we are adding only at a time one time not all the time we are adding one only at the first time okay but a and b are having four bits each okay this is the meaning of this binary addition and subtraction so addition and subtraction both are performing at the same time this is called binary adder and as well as subtractor